Hi, I'm Noah Wiley, and you're on the set of Librarian 3, Curse of the Judas Chalice. Three, two, one, action! Noah is 100% my creative partner on this. He's not just a guy who comes and says some lines and goes home. He's really our partner on every aspect of this. You know, when we were casting the female lead, he read with every actress. And they're so surprised. They said, this never happens. We never get to read with, you know, the star. Can I have you say your name for the first lady? Yes, okay. Donna Kendrick. We were looking for somebody who had definitely had a European flavor to them. Someone who look-wise was different from the other two women that we've cast previously. But more than anything else, it's a rhythm thing. It's just, that's why I sort of uh, was interested in being part of the audition process, is that you, you never really get a sense of how you're going to be able to play off somebody and whether they're going to have the same facility for the dialogue and the rhythms that we've already established for, for my character, unless you're in the room. Such as, you save your treasure. Whatever that is. And escape the bad guys. Whoever they are. And rescue the lady fair. I would say that we rescued each other. We all knew it. Uh, she was calm, she was relaxed, she came in with that, the accent, and there was a chemistry. You were asking for help. I'm the librarian. She had several qualities that really differentiated her. First of all, her accent was flawless, and she has to do a French accent. She's beautiful, and she has a beautiful singing voice. I have faith in love, that's everything. You know, I sing in my bathroom, and uh, <laughs> and I love playing around with it. I make up my own ditties, but they let me play on this one, so I got to sing a bit for them, which was fun. I will never leave you. Stana is a big discovery. You know, get get used to hearing her name because she's going to become a very big star. I mean, I, I've watched this happen before in my career when, when we cast Heath Ledger in The Patriot or putting Will Smith in Independence Day. And action! There's times when actors come into your film and you just look at the dailies and you think, wow, we're getting to see the early work of someone who's going to be a very big star and be around for a long time. And Stan is like that. Every nerve in your body is alive. Who else can live such a life? Don't hide from it, Flynn. Celebrate it. Any suggestions? Well, we could start with a drink. They're still going to be out there with guns. Well, then maybe we make it too. The final chapter begins. The Librarian, Curse of the Judas Chalice, December 7th at 8, only on TNT. One of the things that leads him to coming to New Orleans is he has a dream. And in a dream, he hears this beautiful voice singing to him. And then the dream is realized when I walk into a bar and I see her singing the song that I heard in my dream. And she holds the first clue to where the Judas Chalice is. Don't you think we should open some music or put on some wine? Or... It's okay, librarian. You can drop the act. She's a spicy character, too. She really is exciting to play because she has a strong sense of joie de vivre, you know, she loves life. Who else can live such a life? Don't hide from it, Flynn, celebrate it. Any suggestions? We could start with a drink. They're still going to be out there. Well, then maybe we make it too. Creatively, as the story evolved, it became really a cool way to bring us into a vampire story. So it brought a whole new flavor and tone to the Librarian franchise. Vampires, where could you better shoot a movie about vampires than in a cemetery in New Orleans? New Orleans is wonderful because it delves into that occult history. People still dig on it and really believe in it. And this has just been idyllic. And the crews are terrific. The restaurants down here are outrageous. This is a great music city, great food city, great culture, great people. It's a magical town. I shot a number of films here, and it's always a lot of fun. I love this city. People are really are the gumbo of this town. <laughs> you know, they're all mixed together in a wonderful way. Librarian, Curse of the Judas Chalice, December 7th at 8, only on TNT.